The International Supercomputing Conference is an IEEE-recognized global conference and exhibition for high-performance computing, networking, and storage. ISC, here in its 27th year, is providing a platform for 2,400 like-minded HPC researchers, technology leaders, and IT decision makers to get together and find solutions for HPC challenges. Samsung Semiconductor has been the volume and technology leader in the field of memory solutions now for many years. In the high-end computer segment, numerous manufacturers have come to rely on and trust Samsung's very reliable and advanced products. We're now entering a new petabyte era, with an ever-increasing memory size, its impact on system reliability, system performance, and more importantly, energy efficiency, has become a critical factor for the entire system. Samsung has encouraged its partners to join them on their booth for the conference. IC 2012 is about performance. It's HPC environment. And Samsung 20 nanometer technology, we like to translate our leadership of memory DRAM and SSD in 20 nanometer into a customer experience. And that's why we have invited a couple of our partners to our booth to show this experience to our visitors and customers. Flytech is a company from Spain. Uh, we are focused in servers and storage for HPC solutions. Uh, we design, build, and manage uh, clusters. Uh, and we use state-of-the-art uh, components. That's why we use Samsung memory modules. They use extremely low voltage uh, modules that uh, have uh, a huge uh, savings in the overall TCO of the HPC cluster. We build uh, clusters with CPUs or hybrid between uh, CPUs and accelerators, maybe Intel Mic or GPUs from NVIDIA, uh, using the, the best network, uh, InfiniBand networks. We are already using FDR, with, which is 56 gigabytes per second for the interconnect the solutions. And also for the storage, we use so super micro appliance with double-sided storage uh, solutions. I'm from Delta Computer Products, a major supplier of high-performance computing systems in Germany. We're here at the Samsung booth to demonstrate uh, the benefits of the Samsung power-saving memories. Uh, the Samsung uh, green memory allows you to save uh, a lot of power if you are operating a high performance computing cluster. We did some benchmarking in our facility with uh, one compute node and we found out that you can save about 32 watts just with one compute node, node if you use Samsung uh, green memory. And uh, if you imagine that you have a cluster uh, of uh, 100 uh, nodes, for example, so you could save a few kilowatts just uh, choosing the right memory. And uh, we compared the Samsung uh, green memory to other power saving possibilities, not from computing, and uh, we did some calculations and we found out that uh, you can get the best value out of the uh, power saving memories. Uh, the second best alternative would be uh, using power saving SSD disks, which are also available from Samsung. And the third possibility would be uh, using a power saving CPU instead of a regular CPU. So I'm Ryan Tyler, I'm from VA Technologies. We're a system integrator based in the UK. Uh, we build storage servers, uh, storage appliances, and uh, standard um, high-performance workstations and servers. Uh, we've been a Samsung partner for about three years now. Um, and what we like about Samsung is that um, it not only provides you know, exceptional performance, but also the rock-solid reliability that our customers require. Um, unfortunately, you know, we've tried a number of manufacturers, and, and, you know, and none of them have kind of managed to get to the right kind of level of um, reliability that we desire that, so that we can then pass that over to our customers. In the, I was doing a small uh, anecdote to one of our uh, the key partners and uh, the anecdote that I like to use is that we've taken a large number of Samsung modules and we've never returned one, which I think is quite an impressive feat for uh, the number of modules that we take per year. So we never have made an actual 
the Stanton module before. Um, which, you know, that, so that kind of gives an that kind of gives an overall impression of the reliability that we kind of look for as a as a partner, but also that we can then pass over to our customer. The second thing that we really enjoy about using using Samsung modules is the Samsung Samsung's kind of overall desire to improve innovation, create um, more energy efficient modules that we can just automatically pass over to our customer without actually having to make any changes by simply swapping from the 1.5 volt modules to 1.35 modules. 1.35 volt modules we're able to give customers an instant benefit in power saving and overall cooling and, energy, and being much more energy efficient by simply replacing the modules. So that's a, a second reason why we like using Samsung modules. We are a German technology company focusing on making IP more efficient and uh, more performant. Um, we uh, are building uh, HPC and clusters for high performance systems, cloud for cloud usage and Samsung is our partner in delivering us technology for energy efficient components like RAM and SSD. ISC 2012 featured a new activity this year in collaboration with the HPC Advisory Council, the Student Cluster Competition. The competition consisted of five teams of university students from around the world competing to demonstrate the incredible capabilities of state-of-the-art, high-performance cluster hardware and software. We are happy to support the German team in the cluster competition of the students. And um, the students uh, built up the cluster in our company room. Um, we organized for them other sponsors like uh, Intel, Mellanox, Lehmann, a German manufacturer of Rex, and uh, Supermicro for the mainboard, and of course Samsung for the SSD and the RAM. And we brought them together with the sponsors, organized some evalu evaluation, supported them in this evaluation, and uh, at least uh, we uh, brought the whole team with the cluster here to Hamburg. We are here at the student cluster competition. Uh, we are the team from Karlsruhe. And this is our first participation. And the goal of this um, competition is to squeeze as much as performance as possible out of a 3K watt limit. And this is um, measured by running Linpack on one day. It was yesterday, we achieved 2.37 teraflops. And today there are three application runs and tomorrow there will be another three application runs. Our setup consists of 13 nodes uh, plus one head node. Uh, we are using uh, the Intel low voltage CPU and the Samsung green memory technology plus Samsung SSSDs and Anamax power supplies which are very energy efficient and of course Mellanox, InfiniBand cards and Supermicro uh, server boards. We are the only team from Europe who qualified for this competition and we are very proud to be here. All teams are well prepared and all teams try to win. We achieved the best non-GPU uh, Linpack result and the results are not officially announced but we've talked to the other teams so it's pretty amazing. My name is Jörg Heidemüller. I'm the representative for Macware, HPC and Cluster Systems in Chemnitz, in Saxony, in Germany. Macware, we are a really old company since more than 20 years. We are focused on the HPC market and we are the only company in Germany with own solutions that was developed for, especially for the HPC market. We have own rack and chassis solutions, own management software, own hot water cooling solutions. And our relationship with uh, Samsung is that we use high efficiency or high, uh, really good Samsung DDR RAMs. Like for example, in one of our last projects at the University in Mainz, we used Samsung DDR RAMs. They run good, they're high quality, and uh, I think we have a good relationship together. Uh, we at Intel fundamentally believe into a high performance and energy efficiency requirements by our customers. Uh, CPUs today consume significant share of platform power, uh, such as more than 30%. And with this share of power, Intel is responsible for delivering uh, the best possible performance uh, and thus to provide the best value for money for the investment users put into high performance computing systems. HPC is not only about power consumption saving, rather 
also about performance. That means the total efficiency of a system matters. To get right arguments in our hands, convincing our customers, we got Intel on board, and together we have done extensive tests at Intel Lab here in Europe and figured out jointly that the latest platform of Intel, Sandy Bridge, with E5 CPU and 2.7 gigahertz, together with 16 gigabyte, 30 nanometer, 1600, 1.35 volt of Samsung green memory, are the best match for HPC platforms to provide the efficient investment for our customers from the beginning. We have worked deeply with Samsung on technical levels in our European lab in the UK uh, to assess uh, best configurations for HPC systems uh, in terms of memory and CPU configurations for various types of high performance computing applications. From very memory bandwidth bound applications to very compute bound applications, we found there are different requirements uh, for CPU, some value higher frequencies, others value, value more cores. However, what we found is uh, that Samsung memory delivers one of the best uh, configurations for overall platform energy efficiency. Samsung is always keen to encourage discussion on the subject of memory performance versus energy efficiency. Dr. Byung-Sei So, Senior Vice President, Head of Memory Product Planning and Application Engineering Team Samsung, delivered a keynote at ISC 2012 sharing his thoughts on technology trends in the DRAM segment, discussing the effective use of SSD technology in supercomputing, and ventured a glimpse at next-generation memory candidates such as Phase Change Memory and Spin Transfer Talk MRAM, and explained the paradox of more performance with less energy. We hope you've enjoyed your time with us today and have been stimulated to find out more from the world-class companies who have joined us in discussing the opportunities and limits of power saving and the performance enhancements of viable memory technologies. What part can you play in the exciting and challenging future that lies ahead?